Before we jump into today's video, I want to take a second to shout out one of our amazing partners here on the channel, and that's Gamersups. Fellas, this has been my go-to drink, pretty much for everything gaming related. In those day one raids, when energy levels are running low, it's flavors like Anime Girl Die, Emotional Damage, and my personal favorites, Blowhole Blast. You can't go wrong with any of these guys. What's even better is that all of their flavors have less than one calorie, zero carbs and sugar, and only 100 milligrams of caffeine per scoop. Guys, currently right now, you could try a bunch of these flavors by simply claiming free samples over on their website. I personally find all of these flavors amazing, but I completely understand why folks would want to try out the samples first. On top of that, Gamersubs just dropped their new collectible, Oki Waifu Shaker, which pairs greatly with any of the flavors you choose. And simply using code ASACROSS will knock 10% off on your order. Speaking of waifu cups, don't worry guys, we've got one cooking. Again, big Shout out to Gamer Subs for being a continuous partner here on the channel. This place is for fire teams to show skill. This come on, come on, come on, come on. Keep away. Fragile focus precision is. Congratulations. <laughs> victory. Go. Why is it so hard to get the Ignis? I'm I'm happy enough. I got keep away <laughs> opening shots. I'll take it. I think this is a phenomenal roll. I'm okay with fluid considering the handling speed is so low on this weapon. Um, the stability bump is, is okay. I'm going to go try this roll out in PvP. And I'm also going to take this loadout off because MKs are... They're very one-dimensional. All right, guys. Let's try this roll out. All right. Dude, this feels... Igneous feels so good right now. Then I just get shot on. <laughs> You're falling behind. Dude, look at the range. Look at the range. Hey, look at that, man. I'm pretty sure with the opening shot and keep away, man. I, I'm I'm touching max max range with this roll. Two for one. Perfect. Damn it! Look at that. Look at that range! I feel like we're in the 120 meta again. Again, it's, it, the range finder handguns are one that got hurt the most. So things like True Prophecy with, with range finder. But everything else, I'm pretty sure, got a lift. Oh, 120s feel good, man. 120 feels good. This one especially. Zone. Zone B captured. You have zone advantage. Three minutes. Excellent. Dude, look at these teammates. Absolute lats. Oh! Oh my god! The consistency! Together as one. Okay, I didn't want to believe that this is the best 120 in the game because I was like, you know, I, I wanted, I wanted Maldiction to have its time to shine. For once, we had a phenomenal ritual weapon. And then, like, if you're like me and you farm for a, a god roll bottom dollar, you want to feel like that meant something. Okay. But I, I think Igneous is the best 120 in the game. And in turn, one of the best hand cannons in the game. For one. One minute. Oh my god, that airborne accuracy right there. I envy your oh. strength, Titeron. They're gonna win it now. Just due to that cap point. GG's out. You're defeated. Ignis did amazing right here. Let's go try it out in trials. We'll just we'll just load into a solo game. You know, the beautiful thing about this, guys, is with it being a legendary weapon, you can put on things like traditional finality, right? Which is such a good horde counter for bubbles. You can do Wither Horde if you want. All those heavy hitters that are in that final slot, right? Only one enemy is left. Oh my lord. Notice, it, notice he got flinched up from it. Left. Immediately come around the corner and start doing full damage. Keep away is very nasty. This is the first role I've ever played with keep away. It's very, very good. But I I, I know everyone wants the keep away eye the storm roll, but I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna make a hard case for 
opening shot, guys. I think back in the day, I would have been like, all right, I, I, the storm is the way to go. But the reason why opening shot may be the one I go with is after they've made the recoil adjustment changes, the follow-up shots are more manageable. They, they just announced how they made that change. So I want something to help me on the first shot. Like I was all over the place. I think most people don't want opening shot because of how marginal a range bump you would get if your role was already ranged and keep away. True. True. I I like anything that buffs accuracy. One minute left, my friend. Only one enemy is left. Good stuff, guys. GG's. So I I'm I'm Noja came by and said that Golden Tricorn is actually really good on this hand cannon. There's some nutty things, nutty things you could do with Golden Tricorn. We had a build a long time ago for Hunters with Jurassic Green and Golden Tricorn. I think True Vanguard also had a video on it. But you would get a knife kill and you could kill so fast. But with it being on a 120, just a single stack of Golden Tricorn, we should be able to run around two tapping. That's an interesting loadout. Dude, am I do I just not know how to use that shit? I thought my melee is supposed to bounce. Is it not? I'm so taking that guy's build. I'm so I'm so doing a wings of sacred dawn. Up, <laughs> glaive build. Hunters like you blaze a path. All right now, and now I have golden tricorn times two for two seconds. It doesn't matter because I lose it. Imminent. Two for one. And a knife kill over here. Fuck me, dude. I want the... Can I not get one shot body knife kills? There we go. There's the two tap. It has taken us two games to achieve this. But we finally did. It is indeed possible. Guys, I just don't think... Can you achieve the two taps with Golden Tricorn? Yes. Can you combine it with Arthur's Embrace or maybe Hamkara? There is synergy there. But if you just want to use a good two tapping 120, you just want to use Round Robin, in my opinion. And instead, for Igneous, you need to opt for what this weapon is truly designed for, which is to be the best villain 120 in the game. It has superior stats. It is sexy. And this is the combination I am really liking. Keep away opening shot. I'm really liking that. Can you talk about the God Rope? A lot of people want Keep Away and Eye of the Storm. Considering that the range roll on this weapon is so high. And I'm actually going to bring us up here. Keep Away gives us 15 meters. You could take like the most basic roll. Like if you had like ricochet rounds plus small bore, you know, and a ranged master, which is a lot of things have to go right for you, right? Well, now you're running into the cap, you know, and that's before we even, even if you had like a handling masterwork, you're already getting close to the cap. Uh, and especially if you throw on an adept range mod. This is the god roll that a lot of people want. Keep away boosting that accuracy. Also increases reload speed and range. 
when targets are not within those 15 meters. I the storm boosting your accuracy and your handling as your health gets lower. The reason why I don't think I the storm is the trait to go for in that final column. I'm not saying that I the storm is not a good perk. It is it is a good perk, but when you consider the time to kill value of this weapon being one second, you're you're already getting outpaced. You know, I, and I the storm definitely can help you on the repeak and whatnot. Another reason why I don't think I the storm is the say all end all perk in that final column. Yesterday, Bungie disclosed that they made a change to recoil. Deterministic recoil, what does it mean and and how is it changing? So they go over all the changes and this is applicable now. But if you've been firing your weapons this past season, most of us have said the same thing. Wow, the zoom decoupling for our weapons feel really good because of the range changes. What turns out it's a combination of things. It's not just the range changes. It's also because of this deterministic recoil, which applies to hand cannons. What I'm trying to say, guys, is that the follow-up shot of your weapons should be more manageable, should be more predictable. And I, the storm's main use is to compensate while you were under fire, while you were damaged, and for that unpredictability. But with us having deterministic recoil part of the game now, I don't necessarily think you need I, the storm. I'm not saying that it's not a good trait still. I just don't think you need it. Now, the role that I got on mine was fluted barrel. We got like armor piercing rounds, which is whatever. It's a range bomb. I got keep away. I got opening shot on mine. This put our range stats at 73. Now, with keep away being 15 meters plus the 25 range, I mean, you're obviously running way past the cap. At that point, it's definitely not needed, which is why we weren't rocking a range uh, adept mod. But I do like the accuracy bumps. It all comes down to preference. It comes down to you. You know, that's not to say you can't do something like if you're already running into that range cap, you know, do moving target, right? For our damage perks, we have Golden Tricorn Frenzy, Precision Instrument. Some of you were talk talking pretty favorably about Precision Instrument, as in it would, it doesn't necessarily have the biggest buffs by no means, but it allows you to get three taps at further ranges. Everyone's here saying that the max range for Igneous Hammer is 40.5 meters. A solid man. That's really solid. We tried a golden tricorn roll. You can do it. You can utilize golden tricorn. Yes, you can achieve the two tap with a combination of golden tricorn, radiant, and whatnot. It's a lot of hoops to jump through, guys. At the end of the day, you've got weapons like round robin that already has kill clip present on it. Just make life easier on you. I think it's a phenomenal hand cannon. It's also got keep away and it's craftable. Just make life easier. If you're if you're trying to just get the two tap uh, 120, just go with round robin. Igneous is not really meant as that type of hand cannon. It's meant for super consistency. And it's also like, hey, it's a 120, but this weapon is about to feel like a 140. And that's that's his thing, man. Its stats are just so overloaded, especially on the Adept version, that it's meant to just be a stat monster with the ability to handle like a 140, but do damage like a 120. Slap that like button like your mama told you right.